described tonight. But it was 40 years ago that Good News Productions would begin as just Good News Productions without the international on it. But the most gratifying part of anything that we were associated with was the, was the way that the African people would take the message of Christ and themselves go and spread it abroad. It was amazing to introduce the gospel to many of these people and to see them immediately one man ride a bicycle 115 miles because he had to tell his people, his parents in particular, in the Mondora Reserve about Jesus Christ. He knew that they had to have that message if there was to be salvation. The burning desire, a burning desire, would immediately come into the hearts and minds of the African people as they would hear the word and they would accept the exhortation from Colossians 4, 5, to walk in wisdom toward those that are without redeeming the time. Well, the better part of wisdom, we knew, would include all teaching to be done with visuals because when something is taught with visuals, it is retained by the hearer and seer six times more than if they just hear something. And so it was only made common sense that that be done. But the burning passion within the African people would lead one of them to say about film strips, it would gather 2,000 people without any problem, yet it was not even in their culture or language, and therefore really of no effect. But it would lead one man to say, well, what's the problem? Just make your own. And that was the beginning of what the first production was 40 years ago. In fact, this is that very production, copies from which this were made in a little old film strip in Zimbabwe, Princess Pont and Chipo's. I say Chipo because it comes from Chi and Bo, which sounds much better than Chipo. But anyway, I don't, I don't know which one's really right, but we always call it Chipo as a gift. But this is the very film strip that was first shot on a webinar, and this was the beginning in that country where it was suggested, just make your own. This particular one, Prince can pronounce much better than I, but it just has three words in it. The first word is Biberi, obviously Bible, Muromo, mouth. Biberi, <coughs> <laughs> Almost forgot, I should have read here. <laughs> the Bible is the mouthpiece of God. Well, that burning desire would cause a burden to rest within the African people, and they would take things like this, go out into the bush areas, and show it, gather many people, and hundreds were coming to Christ. It was a matter that we had to do something, not in a cross-cultural way, for that is not Good News Productions International. Good News Productions International does not work cross-culturally. We work within culture because everything that's done is done by the people within that culture for people in that culture. And this is what the African people were all about. They were the most effective at it. And so that burning desire would bring a burden for the other people to know the message of Jesus Christ. Certainly, as you've heard tonight, it has been blessed by God. If I were to give one illustration that I would say probably almost every one of you have heard in closing, it would be one that I don't mind telling again. He became my best friend, his name was Simon Satoa. And when I think of him, I think of the first, well, we went beyond film strips, we started producing 16 millimeter films. And he was the first person that had a major role in a 16 millimeter film that was Christian oriented in Africa in the Shona language. But Simon Satoli was the most outstanding man I've ever met. The last time I saw him, we were talking. He had started five churches in a six year period of time, had baptized over 2,000 people in the Mount Darwin area. And as we were talking, I said, Where were you this past Lord's Day? He said, Well, I went to Rusambo and Rukuni and Noro. I quickly calculated in my mind of the roads that I had driven over to get to those same three places, about 90 kilometers or about 55, 60 miles. He had held services 
in those three places, three of the five places where church has been established through him. And uh, as I looked at him, I said, Simon, how can you possibly do that? You are even older than I am. And he was, but he didn't know his age, but he was much older than I because he already had grandchildren, and this was back in uh, the early 70s. As I asked him, how can you possibly do this? I'll never forget the beautiful blackness of the Bantu face on that evening where just a kerosene lantern was all we had. But the kerosene lantern, the little flicker of the light, caused the whites of his eyes and the teeth to just sparkle out. But it was the eyes that I noticed so much. And when I asked him, how can you possibly do this for your old eyes? He looked at me and could see the whites of my eyes. But his eyes sparkled with surprise. And I'll never forget what he said. He said, why, Mr. Knight, it is God, not me. He had learned the secret that it's not what we can do for God. But what God will do and has done through the network of people by your backing them with prayer, support, and even personal visits in some cases, that is what has made Good News Productions International what it is today. Long ways to go yet, but we praise God because He is the one, along with you, that has blessed the work. So from the burden that would rest within the burning desire of the people, God would bring a blessing to bless the nations. May we give thanks to him for his blessing. And may the world continue to be blessed through your willingness to continue partner that the world may know the message of Jesus Christ in the most effective possible way so that they will bring glory and honor to him until Jesus comes again. Let's pray.